Hey guys, Game Prime here. Today, another unboxing, because what else do I do on this channel these days? Today we are unboxing The Last of Us Part 2 WLF Collector's Edition. I, uh, I didn't want to spend money on this, but I am a crazy Last of Us collector. I have every version of Last of Us Part 2, um, and a good chunk of stuff for the the first game. I have did the unboxing for the Ellie edition for Last of Us Part 1 a year and a half ago when it came out and yeah I'm just a crazy collector and yeah that's why I'm here. So let's get to it. This did come late because we had bad snow here in New Jersey so it was a little unfortunate that I didn't get this on release day like PlayStation promises, but, you know, what are you gonna do? Cool stuff for me to blur out. Oh, actually, no. None of my stuff's on there. But here it is. It's a little chunkier than the LA edition. Huh. So that's good and bad news for me. I thought it was going to be the same size. But there it is in all of its glory. It came in great shape, thank God. Also, I like the the packaging for this a little bit more than Part 1's because Part 1's was very flimsy and easy to damage. This is more of a classic PlayStation quality box, if that makes any sort of sense at all. This doesn't feel like it's going to get damaged very easily, the other one felt like it would. So that's cool. So I'm gonna try and peel the sticker off, maybe that's not gonna be the best way to go about it, no, probably not. that very nice and it's stuck in here okay slowly getting it out oh my god come on dude really stuck that in there. Cool. Nice little protective box. Now this is resembling what they did with part one because part one's LA edition, you just opened it up and it was all there. So this is what we got. We got the game and a nice steel book case. We got pin set featuring some stuff from the game the uh, the cassette that Joel gives Ellie on her birthday probably my favorite part of the game is that birthday uh, trip uh, it's been four years I did a review on the game when it came out and I said it was perfect it's far from perfect now that I you know have had four years to look at it and think about it but Oh, I could go over that another day. A nice WLF wolf patch. And the main event to me, and that's why this thing's so thick, the Society of Champions character cards, the training card game that you find, or the training cards that you find all over the game. We're gonna open these up right now because this is just about the only other thing I could show within this collector's edition. I just wanna open these. 
without damaging the box. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna flip around this way so I could not break my back while doing this. Arch enemy. Stringer. I'm just gonna go like this. Beyond. Batmandar. Bizarbra. Brainstorm. Candelabra. Cardio. CBB73. Chessmaster. Das Wart. Dr. Daniela Star. Dr. Stem. Doppelganger. Esquire, Flo, the Imp, the Keen Twins, Kazab Bright, Kim, Kimimela, Kennard Esquire, Laurent, Focult, Motivator, Melody, the Youthful. The Nighthawk, Oozer, Reverb, Rockefeller, Sahir the Sorcerer, Seth Lahofad, Says Michaela, Sergeant Frost, Shift, Spark Thug, Star Sign, Tanager, Teta Ed, Teta H, I don't know how to say that, Tormentra, Wakumero? Oh, that's cool. Bastet. Dr. Uckman. Tesseractor. Know it all. Mortem. Big Blue. Sora. And the Starfire Kids. So that's all of them. My favorite one, obviously, Dr. Uckman, because it's funny, because it's Neil Druckmann, the creative director. I do want to look at that card real quick, though. It's kind of, like, very hard to, to see, but it has a very nice foil to it. The new dogs. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, all, all the holo cards are very nice. That's cool. So that's a cool little, just neat thing to have for fans of this game. I definitely think Part 1's Ellie Edition was the better Collector's Edition, but it's still cool to have stuff from the game or from part two, like, you know, the cards like that. Get a closer look of the pin set, though, if it's going to let me, or is it stuck in here? No, it's not stuck in here. Well, kind of is stuck. Yeah, it is stuck in here. Okay, well, we're not going to get a closer look at it, because that's all it is. Let's... Damn, everything's stuck in this damn thing. Oi. There's the nice steel bookcase. It's very nice. I really like the art on this. Abby on the back. I'm gonna pop this open so. Okay, no code. And there it is, part two remastered. No code, no stickers. That's. Very odd. Usually Naughty Dog games give you stickers. Hmm. Okay, well, there's that, and that, I believe, is it. I don't think there's anything else in this collector's edition, but I could be wrong, and I could be missing something. Nope, I think that is it. And what I have in this package is a protective case 
for the Firefly Edition, or, er, yeah, Firefly Edition, I kept calling it Ellie Edition this whole video, the Firefly Edition for Last of Us Part 1, because I thought it was going to be the same size as Part 1's Ellie Edition, it is not, so I'm not even going to open it, because I was wrong. But, that is going to be it for me this time, guys. This is just a cool little thing to have again for my ever-growing Last of Us collection. I knew if I didn't get it now, I probably wouldn't get it again, so that's kind of just why I jumped on it. But, yeah, if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you're getting Last of Us Part 2 Remastered, and if you're enjoying, or if you have got it, if you're enjoying the new modes and the lost levels. I played some, I played all the lost levels already, and I thought it was really cool. Um, once again, my opinion on the game has definitely changed over the last four years, but it's still overall a crazy experience in gaming, and one that's still unlike any other that I've ever, ever experienced in any game or medium for that matter. It was, it's a trip, but yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time for whatever I unbox next and regular videos will continue sometime soon. Alright, thanks for watching guys.